What's up, guys? My hair's getting long. I'm sorry. I'm trying to cut it. I keep trying to cut it, but I just can't. Just kidding. Just trying to make time for it. Um, I want to put... It's been a while since I made a video. That happens. Those of you who have been here for a while, you know that. I love you guys. Okay? I love you so much. The reason I'm putting this video on here is because I just saw a really beautiful thing. And it's a gentleman talking about the pure love of Christ. And Christ embodying the love that the Father has for us. Oh, I couldn't stop crying. Okay? And I hope you don't either. So, without further ado, I'm not going to tell you who it is. At least not right now. Here it is. Sometimes the greatest love is not found in the dramatic scenes that poets and writers immortalize. Often the greatest manifestations of love are the simple acts of kindness and caring we extend to those we meet along the path of life. True love lasts forever, is eternally patient and forgiving. It believes, hopes, and endures all things. That is, is the love of our Heavenly Father bears for us. We all yearn to experience love like this. Even when we make mistakes, we hope others will love us in spite of our shortcomings, even if we don't deserve it. Or it's wonderful to know that our Heavenly Father loves us, even with all our flaws. His love is such that even should we give up ourselves, He never will. We see ourselves in terms of yesterday and today. Our Heavenly Father sees us in terms of forever. Although we might settle for less, Heavenly Father won't, for He sees us as the glorious, glorious beings we are capable of becoming. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a gospel of transformation. It takes us as men and women of the earth and refines us into men and women for eternities. This means of this refinement is our Christ-like love. There's no pain it can, cannot soften, no bitterness it cannot move, no hatred it cannot alter. The Greek playwright Sophocles wrote, one read, word frees us of all weight and pain, and that, that word is love. The most cherished sacred moments of our lives are those filled with the spirit of love. No measure of our love is the greater is our joy. I bear testimony that God lives, his love, is, his love is infinite and eternal, extends to all his children. Because he loves us, he's provided prophets and apostles to guide us. He has given us the Holy Ghost that teaches, comforts, and inspires. He's given us scriptures, and I'm grateful beyond description that he's given to each of us a heart capable of experiencing the pure love of Christ. I pray that our hearts may be filled with that love that we may reach out to our Heavenly Father and to others with a new vision of faith. I testify that as we so do, we will discover a greater richness in life in the second sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.